guys, it's Shelby, otherwise known as Shell Bizzle here on YouTube, and today I'm going to share with you guys my July favorites. If you're interested in that, make sure you stay tuned. Okay, so first things first, when I do a favorites video, I like to start out by shouting out a couple of my most recent favorite um, Instagrams or YouTubes or stuff like that. And this month, I only have one, but I've been enjoying it a lot. If you guys don't know, one of my biggest driving goals in my life right now is to live van life, uh, to live in a van for a year and travel the whole country with, with Bay with my fiance. So therefore, one of my favorite Instagram accounts this month, um, and actually for a while, <laughs> has been Van Life Kenzie. And I'll go ahead and put her thing here on the screen, but basically her and her husband live in a van full time, and I think that is so freaking cool. Like I said, it's like one of my goals. It just showcases how they've been traveling and places they've been and stuff like that, and it just, every day when I see her post, it motivates me to get up and do my thing so that I can live that life one day soon as well. And not only is it her and her husband traveling and doing all this they have a cat with them on the road uh, and that's really really cool to me I don't think I'm I'm very confident that Tibby could not do that he hates being in the car he is a horrible car rider so him living in a car is like next to impossible um, so I think I give them mad props for that and if you guys want to see something like that if that would be inspiring to you, go check out Van Life Kenzie. Alright, and the next thing I want to show you guys is, again, my favorite deodorant. I've talked about Native before on this channel when I did just a basic review of them. Native really wanted to establish long-term relationships with the influencers they choose to work with, and I am so lucky to be one of them. So, they sent me their brunch collection, which includes three new scents. And you guys, I don't really like smells, okay? I've said this so many times before. But I think the reason that I haven't liked smells in the past is I've never tried things like with essential oil scents. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm hilarious. But I guess in the past I just became so accustomed to like the Bath and Body Works type scents, Victoria's Secret type scents, and just body sprays and whatever, those sort of things. And I never tried anything like this before. So when I smelt these, I was immediately like, why do I kind of like this? So the three new smells are Rosé, they're brunch scents, right? So they're all related to like brunch. So we have Rosé, of course there's Mimosa, and then there's also Sangria. And Sangria is my favorite one. It smells really, really Really good. Oh, I just, I really like this scent a lot. So, um, yeah, I've talked about Native a lot before, but I've tried a lot of natural deodorants before I found Native, and I'm just so thankful that I have, and that also that they want to work with me. Like, how cool is that? I will probably never switch to another deodorant. I've been living, like, an eco-friendly lifestyle for a long time, and I've been trying to find deodorants that work for me for a long time, and there were some that would work, and then they would wear off, or I would sweat them off, or so on and so forth, and until Native, I just thought that I would always have to put up with that and then I found native and now I feel like my life has changed so if you guys don't know that normal deodorants have aluminum in them it's very bad for you as well as the environment so to switch to a more natural deodorant is going to be your best bet a lot of people talk about DIY deodorants and I just don't think I don't think that that works for me I don't know I've made a couple recipes and they just never really work out for me and the fact that this comes in a stick form is really convenient and I just prefer it um, and if you guys try any of the scents from their new collection Definitely gonna recommend the sangria. I do have a discount code with them I'll leave it in the description box and right here on the screen and the last thing that is also really important as you guys know I've been doing a waste-free July zero waste July um, For the past month and I feel a little bit guilty that this is in plastic And so I tweeted at native and I asked them is you guys is uh, packaging hundred percent recycled and they said it is so there's nothing in here That has some other weird material that can't be recycled like some other like main brand drugstore brand deodorants so I think that's super cool and for for the effectiveness of this deodorant, I can dig it. So if you guys want to get one, I'll leave a link in the description box for you. Now, I've talked about this on you now, and some of you guys are going to make fun of me, and I totally get it because why is this the most exciting thing I have found all month? I don't know. It just is. This is part of being a grown up, get ex getting excited about dish brushes. But I talked about this on you now. If you don't follow me, you should go follow me over to catch me live and we can chit chat. But um, the reason I chose to do zero waste July, the reason I challenged myself to go zero waste is because since Madison and I have been living in this apartment that we're living in right now, we've replaced the sponges that we do our dishes with probably six times. I mean, I only really have to buy like dish soap twice a year. 
but sponges were having to go out and get them every time I turned around it felt like and it just felt so wasteful and so I started thinking to myself surely there's an alternative to this surely we don't have to keep doing this and that's what kind of started the wheels turning for me for zero waste July and then I found this and I fell in love so this is a brush uh, the handle is obviously made out of wood so is the head and the bristles are as well so there's no plastic associated with this brush which is really really cool my favorite part of it it does have some metal pieces obviously and on the head but the really cool part is this right here okay guys you are you ready for this I don't think you're ready for this this comes off it comes off <laughs> Why do I think this is so cool? Because whenever the brush is dirty, whenever you've used it up and you've used it so much, it is biodegradable, compostable, whatever you want to call it. It's made of all natural materials, so in nature it can break down. So that's the super cool part of it. And the other cool part of it is you can just buy replacements like this and put it onto here. You don't have to buy a whole new brush every time you go through a brush. And it's not made of plastic, so it doesn't have to go to the landfill. You just pop it back on whenever you get a replacement, and that's all, that's it. I I just think this little thing is the coolest thing ever it has a little hook if you have a hook you can hang it uh, from the hook up here and I just I'm in love with this I bought it on Amazon I'll link it below for you guys um, this is a great alternative to throwing away plastic dish brushes all the time plastic sponges and stuff like that as well I actually have sponges if you don't just want a brush I did find some biodegradable really good for the environment sponges as well to like clean off your countertops and stuff like that so I'll link those below um, but this thing this thing will change your life. Please get yourself one. All right, next thing is my favorite sunscreen at the moment. Um, this is by The Honest Company, and they have a really good rating from the Environmental Working Group. That's what I base all of my purchases on. If the Environmental Working Group says it's decent for the environment and I can read each ingredient and the effects it will have on me and the environment, that's how I base my purchasing uh, options and things like that on. So they have a good rating from them. It is also in a 100% recyclable container, so that's really good. A lot of sunscreens out there have been linked to different types of cancers, different types of organ issues, and I just want to avoid all that as much as I can. So if you guys are looking for an eco-friendly sunscreen this summer, this is going to be a good one. It's 50 SPF, which is really, really good. I've obviously still been getting some sun. That is a concern of my sister's. When I tell her to use the sunscreen, she says, when you want to get a tan, but you want to get vitamin D. Like, I'm still getting it, okay, guys? You know how white I was, like, six months ago, okay? I'm still getting sun. But skin protection is important, so get you some of this if you're looking for a good alternative to the harmful um, ones that are in drugstores. Okay, last but not least is kind of two things, but they're kind of the same, and it is essential oils. Now, I've been using essential oils on and off for the last several years of my life. I buy one, I really like it, I use it for a while, but I kind of fall off the wagon because, I don't know, just to the thought process of, like, remembering to put essential oils in to help you um, is something that I, I'm not really good with keeping up with I guess to be honest but more recently I've been having a lot of issues with stress anxiety and um, not exactly self-worth issues but I guess self-confidence issues and I get a little into myself and I just need to like take a deep breath and like chill the fuck out you know what I mean so um, I've been using this is just a uh, balsam fir needle essential oil it smells like a Christmas tree it's probably weird for most people to have your house smell like a Christmas tree in the middle of the year, but I love it. It's my favorite thing. And then I'll also link my essential oil diffuser. My sister got it for me for Christmas, and I love that little thing. Some of my other favorite essential oils are Ylang Ylang essential oil. I like that one. I like orange when I'm in a happy mood. I'll do orange. Ylang Ylang, I think that's how you say it. I really don't know, is the one that I use. And then just in general, sometimes when I'm just hanging out, I like this one. And yeah. Essential oils have just been a favorite of mine this month. Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite essential oil because I really want to buy like a kit, but they're kind of expensive. So if you guys could just tell me what your favorite ones are and I'll try those ones out. Sounds good to me, right? Alrighty, guys. Well, that's going to be it for my July favorites video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to try any of the things that I mentioned, I will, of course, have them linked below. Um, but definitely want you guys to check out almost everything I mentioned today. I think that they could really bring value to your life. At least they do to mine. They're not things that are, like, favorites just for the month of July. They're favorites, like forever like these are going to be my forever favorites so i hope you guys loved it again let me know what your favorite essential oil is in the comments below and remember until next time create the peace